Hi, I'm Brett. Today we're going to talk about the Ford Focus RS. And as you can see behind me, we've got one here on the dyno. We're doing some really interesting back-to-back -back, um, component testing. And what we're going to talk about today is the factory intercooler. And this is the original factory-fitted intercooler off the front. They're a front-mount intercooler that fits across the front here in behind the um, bar cover. And in behind here you can see the uh, air conditioning radiator and the engine radiator. And either side here, we've got the... Um, the hot side pipe and the cold side pipe, meaning this is what comes out of the turbo. It's yellow because we've already replaced it with a replacement mount tune part, but we'll talk about that later. Goes through the intercooler and then out that way there and back into the engine. So what we're going to talk about interestingly is why would you want to change the intercooler on your Ford Focus? Well, in some parts of the world you might be modifying your car dramatically and you want more uh, performance and the colder the air inlet to the engine the more dense it is the more energy you can get into and then for more power but also because it's colder you can run more ignition timing which gives you the ability from a custom tuning point of view which we specialize in is to run more ignition advance and that means torque but one of the really interesting thing and I've done some recently testing and some uh, investigations and you might be wondering what is this piece of plastic on the front of the factory fitted intercooler and this part here actually if you can see it there it's actually just glued in place and it is actually a blanking plate for all choice of words fitted by Ford when they did the final production testing of the car before they released it you might know well why would they do that well in actual fact what that does is reduces the efficiency of the intercooler on the hot side and effectively makes the intercooler smaller. But you might go, well, why would you want to do that if you want to make the intercooler as good as it can? Well, what can happen, it has been tested, it has been known to happen on some other Ford models, um, whereby they design a lot of these parts early in the piece and they just don't know how much energy they need to get rid of as far as heat until the car does a lot more testing, which can be six, 12 months later after they've designed some of these components. So of course, what Ford's done is go, okay, well, we'll look, put a, la a larger intercooler on it and that way, if we need it to be smaller, we can blank it down because it's not easy to make it bigger. But what they actually found was in, in environments in the world where the ambient conditions were very, very humid, meaning you've got a lot of moisture in the air, when the engine induces, it takes that air into the intake, goes through the turbo and gets compressed and it gets hot, when it goes through here, the immediate effect is it starts to cool. Now, when you cool humid air, like on your air conditioner or your um, things like that, you'll see water comes out of the air conditioner. And actually what it does is the water condenses into water droplets out of the vapor, which is the humidity. And then in an intercooler like this, what they found in certain situations, it actually starts to form large droplets. It then goes through the intercooler, through the engine and starts causing misfires. So that's not exactly what you want to have happen. So what did Ford do? They go, okay, well, because this is a global car, they said, well, we'll just reduce the performance of the intercooler and tolerate a higher inlet temperature, which then reduces the risk of that problem occurring. Hence the reason why they put the blanking plate on it. So if you want to take a small risk and you're confident you're in an area where you don't have high humidity or you're not going to have that risk of a problem, that's one quick and easy way of increasing the performance of your factory fitted front mount intercooler on your Ford Focus. And remember, if you want to then take further advantage of those improvements, you can do a custom tune as well to make the car go even better. The thing I want to remind people is an intercooler provides the ability to reduce inlet air. You don't want to go to a massively big intercooler and expect some massive increase in power because if your inlet temperature is not already high, then the intercooler is not going to add any benefit. So don't fall in the trap of thinking bigger is always better. But of course, if you're looking for more performance upgrades, check out our other videos. We'll do some more um, updates with this car and some uh, info on our channel too. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, um, share it around. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and of course, wherever you are in the world, we do custom remote tuning, particularly in Australia. You can contact us through any of our remote tuners where we do individual editing and individual customization of the tunes for the cars. And um, you can contact us anytime via our website, Facebook or Instagram. But for now, my name is Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.